it's starting the decisive battle to determine who's gonna come out in this best of three between us against the principal the final exams now there is a couple set of uh important like questions that i think got changed overnight thanks to the principal i think that everyone's getting the same tests though and if we win we get to make them do whatever we want and if we lose they might get to know the true secrets of what's going on in e-class and i don't think that's necessarily bad let's begin today's reaction Nice recap. The Coliseum Gladiator recap scene incoming. Yep, yep. Coliseum. And opening! Another cliffhanger. On oh, no, wait! Wait, 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 Koro sensei? And that's fine. Because you don't go to school to remember. Like, again, like everything that you learn in school. I don't know about everything, but like. <laughs> none of that shit matters, bro. It's just all bullshit memorizations that go out the window just to fucking ace a standardized test. What really matters, I think, again, is like how you are able to work in a group, right? The most important thing in a school setting to learn even high school college you name it right it's about being able to work in a group with people that you don't get along because that's pretty much life being able to work with people that may not be agreeable people you don't like but you can put up a fake act and you know how to incentivize them to you know move and make them into your tools right networking collaborating these soft skills to know how to work in a group that's one of the most important things to learn from school <laughs> Alright. <laughs> what do you mean so fast? What do you mean so fast? Is the amount of time left to fucking finish the midterms? Like the finals even shorten the midterms? How do you apply this time constraint to this monster right now? Yeah? Oh shit, beam attack. We gotta keep going. We gotta there's a lot of questions, not enough time. What's happening with this monster, man? Mr. LA, yeah. Um, do you guys think that he's from Los Angeles? How many more times does he need to let us know that he's from LA? If you want to know the truth, I felt like slapping the cook's face a hundred times. Some sort of grammatical mistakes going on here? Uh, I don't know. What happened, Mr. LA? I don't even know what the question is. Honestly, I wanted to give that cook a hundred slaps in the face. Ah, oh, it's like rearranging. Okay, we got it right. He got it wrong. Nice. Yo, she's actually so competent. And she wants, she read Catcher in the Rye? I don't think there's any point in reading these fucking English. It's just random fucking statements. They're just bonking. The question is, you know, reordered uh, to make sense. Wah, wah. That's on you, bro. Sensei Clus with this prep. <laughs> what the hell? He's a mage, bro. Everyone else has been using hammers. Bro has a fucking staff. Low key funny, bro. Just because of the way he looks. Science girl. Where's our science girl? Nice. There it is. Wait, she tamed him. The fuck? How? Hmm. Sure. I have no clue what the fuck he just said, but sure. <laughs> this is absurd. This is like a fever dream. It's so jacked underneath too, but it's so cute. <laughs> Look at the way it runs. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> What's going on, top five? Oh, we got guns here. Oh, no, he has like a katana? Okay, the catcher in the Rai example was because Koro-sensei was so diligent. 
But Iso guy was like, yo, our family is poor. So just randomly, I thought about, huh, what other country is really poor or like continent? Oh, Africa. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to read up about them because we're poor. Okay. And then we actually went to Africa. All right. Ooh. Damn. That's actually so sick. Hey, stop it. That's so creepy. Oh. Okay, it's the face up, bro, between the two aces. Karma, they just look so alike, man. They do. I, I think they, their entire personality. I don't think the personality is identically the same, but they gave off the same vibes. But this is the death match, bro. Look at that look of confidence. Alright, he's got every weapon. Each weapon has, you know, represented a different thing, right? This is like fucking science, maybe language, I don't fucking know, history, right? Math now. He's so relaxed. <laughs> I mean, no, I was gonna say, like, this is ridiculous. We're in a gladian stage. Everyone's fighting with swords and shit. No, 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 the, the science kids, right? They had, like, the magic stab, but we coming in while locked and loaded. Principal's son's gonna be a sacrifice? Show me the match. Don't off screen it. You gonna off, you gonna off screen it? What the fuck? What? Dude, the one match, the one imaginary Delulu match that I wanted to see, you fucking off screen that? Alright. What happened? Did we win? <laughs> Okajima. Terasaka. Okajima. Nagisa. Maybe. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's a blonde girl, right? Damn, 100 in English first. What is her defect? She's just so fucking good. Like, like she... I, I thought she was going to be just like airhead bimbo. But no. She is extremely smart. What's her defect? Why is she here? Mr. L.A. <laughs> L.A. I lived in Los Angeles. Did you know that I'm from LA, by the way? One year in LA? LA, my fucking ass. Your motivation did have a touch of whimsy that worried me. Is she also just like a lazy genius? Okay. That's still pretty good. To be destroyed, they flag it. O Okajima. Okajima ain't winning. Am, am, am I just fucking too much reaching that Terasaka and Okajima is gonna like actually win something? Let's go, Kanzaki. So we didn't get first place in this subject. 96 is pretty fucking good, but it's the goal of like getting actually like top place in these subjects. So Aslan have got us here. One one. One point gap. The big five's a fraud. Exactly. The big five is a bunch of frauds. The four of them are trash. And Aslan was the only legit one. I'm surprised that this Megane actually wasn't able to, like, you know, offer anything really academically. I thought that he'd be super smart. Isogai! Yeah, Mr. Africa! Isogai! How? What the fuck? Asa Maybe it's the Africa trip, bro, that made the difference. 97 and 95. 2-1, 2-1. Okuda easy. But out of all the subjects, all the class, 3-1. We've already done it. Now, the best thing they could do is 3-2. And the best thing that we could do is 4-1. We've won. We've won, right? Wah, wah. 
<laughs> Who are these two? Who the fuck are you guys? I have you shown up in the last couple episodes? I I'm getting to remember a couple more characters, but these two who? <laughs> Math, karma. Even if karma loses, it doesn't matter. Three two, right? We have five subjects in total. Three two is still like the worst case scenario, and we win. Hundred. Three two. All right, so karma lost. <laughs> Interesting how they didn't really like they off screen Karma's lost, huh? That's very interesting. I thought that maybe like Karma and Asano would tie. I thought that maybe they would like show like the gap between them doesn't really exist and they're kind of the same, but I, I, we haven't even seen his score yet, right? We haven't even seen it. It just says Asano 100 in math immediately, so who knows? He looked pissed. We got our wish granted now. Who cares about total scores? Huh? 85. Total score 469. That's what they're showing right now. Huh. That's rare. But I think it's intentional. Is this some Anokoji shit? There's, there's gotta be plans within plans. I refuse to believe Karma would just score 85. It's, it's gotta be intentional. It's gotta be like, he hit 85 perfectly. Or he really is just washed. I don't know. Oh, he's mad. Okay. So... Maybe this is a good opportunity where we don't get bailed by karma, but we still win because, you know, we clutched. And karma now has a reason to actually give a fuck. Yeah, exactly. It's for development. It's setting him up for the next stage where now he'll actually give a fuck and remind it of this and he'll try harder. <laughs> Oh, Megane. Megane is actually up there too. Not bad, right? Not bad. And these two are pretty smart. Okay. Except Karma. Yep. Even Karma couldn't. <laughs> Yo, he did Karma voice acting there. That was a good impression. One more time. Yep. Exactly that. <laughs> He's blushing too. Oh shit. Look at the principal bring him down. Oh, he's not even facing him, bro. No eye contact. This is an L for you, Asano. No, because then he'll be indebted to the father and he doesn't want any of that, right? So, man, this is so interesting. Like, this father son relationship. Like, should I help you out, little boy? But if I do that, you know you're gonna be owe me something. Yeah. Non existent secrets, my ass. What the fuck? <laughs> She was funny and creepy at the same time because how smooth it was rotating. It was like sliding slowly, right? Holy fuck, is school that serious, Dad? A whelp. Man, we talking big. Yeah, Asana did talk big. Oh, the eye movement, too. What the hell? This is some better you shit. Might as well start licking fucking Asana's eyeballs, too. But now, it's not just karma, right? It's not just karma. Asana also has a reason to like try even harder. And the father, man, the principal is really, really eating this shit up. Like, to him, this is like the best day ever. The principal is so bored with his life. He only gets joy out of getting into like these kids' dramas, right? And like this right now is like such peak content for him. He's, he's killing it. This is his best day. <laughs> I'm starting to realize why I like the principal so much. It's like the same idea in Beyblade and Doji and Metal Saga, you know? It's like this whole setup of like a grown-ass man having personal beef with kid something about that is just so comically hilarious to me especially it's if it's even more serious right the fucking sinister epic dramatic soundtracks the word choices they use right it's just so over the top i love it okay 30 percent instead of mach 20 it'll be like what mach 15 <laughs> he's really doing a lot this is interesting, it's parallels, huh? Just as how the principals was shitting on, you know, his son. 
Koro Sensei is also shitting on Karma. I think Karma needs this though. I think that this is like he needs to reflect on his actions and think about like, yeah, I can't just get away just being lazy anymore. Look at that blush. Ew. Blush is very cute. <laughs> Nah, he needs it. He needs it. He'll bounce back. Mm hmm Cameraman, what the fuck? Both Asano and Karma, man. They're literally like two sides of the same coin. Yep. Exactly. The faster you can handle defeat, the better you can have that. Because like, or else you become this like glass castle, remember, right? You built a house of cards with like glass. Breaks down so easily, and you fail once later on, thinking you were special, and you can't rebound. That's the final exam, Larks. Okay, now what? Wait a minute, final exams? Are we? Finishing the, what ha, we're already are we gonna graduate? But there's still season one. Oh, first term final exams. That makes more sense. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, it still looks pissed. Yeah, okay. Three tentacles. They're never gonna catch him, man. What? Huh? Huh? Home, home egg? <laughs> the fuck is home egg? What is this? <laughs> I thought that there was only five subjects. But if there was more, there wasn't spe specification. You're right. Terasaka actually fucking cooked. Holy shit. Like, I was hoping that... I, you know how I ironically said, like, fucking Okajima, Terasaka, they're gonna win. Terasaka actually followed through. Like, Terasaka is very capable. Like, his entire crew, bro. His entire crew, the four the delinquents, right? Like, they're sick. That's <laughs> what? You're gonna make excuses? <laughs> is it? What do you do? Wow. He said six is too much. Seven is gonna be... Hmm. Help with assassination? What? That was a very crisp what. What? What? Nice one. What? The crew. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 I like it when Terasaka is being a bully against these dudes. Like, this is gonna be good. Cook, bro, let's go! Yeah, shit on him! The deal. Oh, try it. One demand. What's the one demand gonna be? Let's go, Homak! What the fuck? This is crazy! It, you would have never expected the delinquent squad to be this cool, right? But they are! They're fucking sick right now! Oh, bitch sensei. Oh my god, that... What that ass doing? <laughs> Just having them aprons on, they're cooking, and now for the crown, that's olive oil, bro! They're fucking cooking! They literally cooked. They, not metaphorically, they're actually cooking. <laughs> Nao Michi, okay. Amazing. Koro sensei was there too. They're pretty good. Mm -hmm. That's fair, they found a loophole. Oh my god, Bitch sensei. I don't know. Even not Bitch sensei? <laughs> I mean, she did start like deep throat and fucking Nagisa, right? At last time of the ceremony. Yeah, she can't be around. He's trying. Yeah, he's correcting himself. Beach. <laughs> hey, it's not Ritsu again. What's up, not Ritsu? Ritsu. 
Do it for Ritsu. Immediate supervisor's daughter. Okay. I haven't seen her say anything yet. Damn, he's the last in our class. Yeah, I, I guess the last in our class doesn't look as bad because our class is all improving and he has improved relatively before, but he's, he's literally dead last in our class. That's embarrassing. Karasuma is such a softy. Bald. Bald. You don't want to end like the E-class? We're delivering results, baby. We better than your actual fucking baseball team, you clowns. We pretty much beat you in the midterms if it wasn't for the fucking little bit of a cheating last question you added on. And we literally scored so much better than the A class. How the fuck are you saying this right now? You can't even. Stand proud. That's right. Stand proud. Keep your heads up. Oh shit, it's the principal. He's scheming. Oh, don't you dare act like this is all part of your plan. Stop it. Don't you fucking take credit for this. <laughs> Watch him be like, <laughs> it was all according to my plan. Now, my own students will try even harder for the second term, which is the actually one that matters. This is all exhibition. It's Shut the fuck up. Stop it. <laughs> you need to have some fucking shame. Have some fucking shame. You can't, dude. If we, if we did it either or, he would have said it's all according to my plan. This is bullshit. This soundtrack's hype, though. Are you gonna kill them? Why are you doing this? What are you gonna do? What? While school's out for the summer, measures maybe must be taken? I don't know what he's cooking up something important, bro. He fucking prepping during school break. What the fuck? Yo! Just... You wouldn't kill these kids, right, Principal? You wouldn't. Oh, Jesus. That's a lot. Holy shit, it's like a phone book. Oh, what? They keep showing that again. The thing they were hiding from us. What's our wish? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Resort episode. Let's fucking go. Field trip. There's gonna be beaches probably, right? Oh, I love these kind of field trips too, right? There's like, there's always a Kyoto arc field trip, but I remember Data Live did the same thing too, where it's just like, you know, summer vacation, you're going to like a tropical island kind of, you know, field trip. Those are always fun too. Let's go. What's Ritsu gonna do? I guess not Ritsu's gonna show up, because like, you know, Ritsu can't really swim. <laughs> Cope. 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 <laughs> this is amazing. The whole class is turning on them and they know. They know that Asuna is the only good one. True. True. Oh shit, he's speaking. Blame yourself, bro. Blame yourself, bro. During the summer camp, we'll do the tentacles. It's a pretty good environment for us to set him up. Oh shit, report cards. I haven't heard of those in a while. Straight A's for everybody. They all magically just landed on their hands too. Summer arc, let's go! That's it! And that's the episode. It's feeling like this is like the end of stage one. Phase one if you can call it, right? I know that there's been little arc stories here and there and there, but it's feel like, you know, first term is officially over, we've done the finals, and we're going into, you know, summer exams. The characters are more developed than ever. Other people, even Terasaka's group, like, popping off. I think this is the highlight, honestly. The highlight of the episode for me, like, I don't give a fuck about this shit, right? It's, it's this random fucking imagery of me, us fighting against, you know, the monsters with the questions. It's nice that they're gonna keep it exciting for us, but what was really fun for me is... Terasaka, the loophole, home egg, they were actually fucking cooking. And for the group that, 
usually we think that we would look down on, right? Terasaka's group, right? They're not the most brightest. They're not the most kind. You know, they're always like the outcast. That's really hard to like incorporate to our class. They, you know, clutched and they were even looking down on the big five, which is amazing. The principal and the son, Asano. This is actually one of the best scenes too, for sure. His head tilting, bro. Grown ass man jeering his son because he couldn't get good enough grades at school. Oh my god, and he's eating this shit up. Principal fucking loves this shit, and I hate. I know the logic. I explained the logic, right? It's first term doesn't matter. This is all set up, and in fact, it's better that we lost here so that they're gonna try even harder. Everything is working flawlessly. Fuck you. Don't you dare take that fucking credit from us. But that's it. We're entering a new arc. We're going to like a summer resort. It's probably gonna be really fun. And I'll see you next time. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.